guys, this is Parker at Aftershock 2015, rocking with the guitars from POD. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, How does it feel so far? Have you gotten a chance to walk around, see some of the audience? You know what? Honestly, I just woke up in my tour bus in the bunk, and I had to come to do this. <laughs> so I'm like, I have not. So they kicked you awake and then told you to come do some interviews. Well, yeah. we're happy to have you here. Uh, I just want to ask some quick questions about your equipment. Uh, what amps are you rocking? What guitars do you endorse? And like your pedals, what gives you that specific sound that makes POD so kick ass? All right, well, um, I use uh, Mesa Boogie. Oh, one of my favorites. Uh, for my, 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 my dirty, heavy sound, uh, a Mark V and a dual rectifier. And I also use a uh, JC120 Roland Jazz Chorus for clean, and I blend it with the Vox AC30. The Vox AC30 along with the Jazz Chorus on clean, that's got to give you one of the sweetest reverb tones I've ever heard. Yeah, I love it. All right. So uh, and as, as, for, as far as effects go, I have diff I'm always looking for another delay pedal. Always. So I just like to try them all out. And then uh, I end up owning them all and going, I mean, let me pop this one out. Yeah, you know? it's a hard time being a guitarist going to like Guitar Center and shopping because you just want to buy everything, right? Yeah. So uh, as far as touring Northern California, have you guys gotten a chance to come around here often? Or do you prefer Northern California or other areas of the country? Or? You know what, Cal Northern California has been good to our band and been good, been good to us throughout the years. We just kind of neglected it. And um, as of recent, because we dropped a new album, uh, we decided we need to start going up the west. We're from the west coast. We don't do the northwest. That's that's odd. LA so area. We uh, we're making a point to do that now. Hey, that's fantastic. Here we're all thirsty to have your music up this way. Uh, as far as the recording process on this new album, was there anything interesting? Any fun stories you had while in the studio? Or well, uh, you know what? Uh, we worked with Howard Benson. Uh, he did the Satellite album. He did the Payable on Death album. Fundamental Elements of Southtown, our last record, Murder Love, and now the new one, The Awakening, which is a concept record, mm -hmm. uh, POD style, which a lot of people don't un don't get at first, because they're like, wait, POD mixes rap, reggae, hip hop, punk rock, did a concept record? Yes, we did. Well, that's fantastic here because uh, as we were kind of doing a little bit of research and listening to a lot of your music, we noticed everyone was so quick to throw genre names out there. Mm -hmm. Do you have a specific genre that you like to touch on more in the band as the guitarist, or are you specifically just keeping it fluid? Well, just like your name, Rock Hard Live. Yeah. I like to rock hard live. <laughs> well, you heard it from the horse's <laughs> mouth. We got Rock Hard Live over here. You know, I, I, I'm, I, being a guitar... That's why I'm a guitarist, man, because this is a, such a heavy-fueled guitar rock mm -hmm. kind of band. Whether it is different, but, but the thing is we flirt with so many different genres. We can go from punk rock to reggae to hip-hop, rap, jazz, all but, within our record. And that's something that a lot of bands nowadays, especially I feel like, lack in. So as far as coming up with concepts for that, who are some of your influences? Like you said, reggae multiple times. Who's your reggae influence? Who's your punk? What do we listen to to kind of get inspired well, into that mood? My favorite reggae out, uh, artist is uh, Steel Pulse from England. Oh, I'm such a fan of those guys. They're progressive reggae. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've, and and yeah. Um, I also, uh, Carlos Santana, all the way from that, to obviously the classic legends like J the Jimmys. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, Martin Gore from Depeche Mode. Oh, okay. It's, it's just that very melancholy, not picking maybe three notes but it's the effect and the way that it sounds you're like dang that sounds amazing you can play a million notes but you know those guys can make you play one note and make you cry and, so. yeah and they'll have the whole arena singing along so I love that all right well uh, we look forward to you guys having a chance to play and uh, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hey peace and love for all the fans out there stay tuned and we'll be happy to take some hey, pictures while you're out me, there man right on man Rock on. you have a good one hey. I'm out. Hey, what's up? This is Marcos from POD, and you are here at Rock Hard Live. Hey, you wanted to take a second to thank our sponsor, Wise Choice Solar. If you need solar in the Sacramento or adjoining areas, be sure and check them out at wisechoicesolar.com. They will install your solar with little or no down. They have all the financing information, so check them out at their website, Wise Choice Solar. Dot com. Tell him you heard about him on Rock Hard Live and maybe he'll give you a little bit of a discount.